Welcome to Perimenopause How. This video is about period pains. Period pains can happen at any time of your life. And one thing we have to note in perimenopause is that you may start getting cramps two or three days before your period actually starts. If you're going to skip a period, you may get period pains and no bleeding. There's all sorts of variations upon this theme. One thing you mustn't forget is conservative measures such as heat. So that means using a hot water bottle, or if you're a bit more up to date, you might have a heating pad that you can plug in. There's even some that you can buy that you can wrap around your waist. And of course, there's the wheat bags that you can heat up in the microwave or a hot bath will do the job as well. It used to be that some people like my gran would say you couldn't have a hot bath when you're on your period because it wasn't hygienic. But I think that's just an old wife's tale. So apart from that, looking at medicines, most women will take ibuprofen. That's a pretty good option because a lot of the pain when you have a period is caused by a substance called prostaglandins. This is a pain-causing substance that your body makes in order to start your uterus cramping. And when it um, cramps and the muscles contract and expand, that's what causes the pain. And it's the prostaglandins that get that whole process going. They cause swelling and inflammation and the cramping. Now, ibuprofen and similar medicines, which are called non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drugs, these are the medicines that actually work specifically against prostaglandids. So really, they are the best choice and they're a better choice than acetaminophen, or as we call it in the UK, paracetamol. In the US, you have a popular brand called Mydol. And if you look at the Wikipedia page for Mydol, there's a variety of different formulations. The classic one contains acetaminophen, which is paracetamol. This is not the best pain reliever, as I've just explained, that ibuprofen and non-steroidal anti-inflammatories are the best um, pain relief for period pains. So the extended relief formulation of Mydol contains naproxen, which is also uh, the same as ibuprofen. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory. Some of these formulations contain something called Pamabram, it's a teen formulation, and that's actually very useful if you get swelling, like you get puffy legs and puffy fingers prior to your period, that will help you. And there's a PM formulation that contains diphenhydramine, which you will know as Benadryl, so that will make you quite sleepy as well. So Mydol maybe is useful, the ones with ibuprofen more useful than the ones containing acetaminophen or paracetamol. In the UK, we have something called Feminax, which is really the brand leader, very similar to Mydol. But this contains something called naproxen, which is a very popular non-steroidal anti-inflammatory, very similar to ibuprofen. Please be warned if you're going to take ibuprofen or naproxen, it's best to take them on a full stomach because they can cause stomach ache. They can cause stomach ulcers if you take them at a high dose for a very long time. If you go and see your doctor about your period pains and you're having very serious period pains, say you have endometriosis or something like that, methanamic acid is something that your doctor may give you not to be confused with tranexamic acid, which controls the flow of your period. Methanamic acid is in the same class of drugs as ibuprofen and naproxen. It's a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug and it's quite strong and it's excellent. Even for something like having a miscarriage, it would be suitable for the pain that you would experience with that. It's a, a really excellent option if you can get it prescribed for you. We have in the UK a medicine called buscopan and the active ingredient in buscopan is something called hyacine. In this particular one it's called hyacine butyl bromide and hyacine is something that um, stops the muscles contracting so violently. 
It's really sold in the UK for IBS, irritable bowel syndrome. And the basic action here is to stop your um, stomach muscles contracting, but it doesn't stay stay around your stomach area. It isn't specific to stomach muscles. So it can actually be useful for period pains and uterine cramps. It will stop your uterus contracting so violently as well. It can cause you to feel a little bit sleepy or sedated. So maybe it's not ideal to take if you're driving. In the UK, hyacin is an ingredient in some travel sickness medicines too. So joy rides or quells also contain it. So if you can't get your hands on any buscopan, those are alternatives. Buscopan is available in most shops in the UK, in places like Savers or even Poundland, you can get it. So it's not just something that is available in a pharmacy. You can get it in many other shops that sell toiletries and that kind of product. You can get buscopan in Canada too. And in many places in Europe, if I scroll down here, you can see the um, Greek version and stuff will come up eventually. There it is. There. So you, you can get it in many countries. It doesn't seem to be available in America. And also they don't um, tend to have this medicine for travel sickness either. They stick to the um, first generation antihistamines quite often. I have noticed that they sell uh, stick-on patches for car sickness that have hyacin in them. Hyacin is derived from the datura plant, um, which is kind of a funny thing for it to be derived from. That plant is actually banned in many places, but for a medical purpose, it, it appears in these medicines. Anyhow, I'm starting to waffle, so I'm going to stop this uh, video. Just to remind you, phantom periods you can treat in exactly the same way as I've just discussed. If you found this video useful, please like and subscribe and all those kind of things. Thanks for watching.